What's going on? Happy Mother New Year to you guys. It's your boy Devils Do. Right now, we're going to be doing my top 14 of 2014, both personal and general. Right now, bear with me because I don't really have all the figures on me right now. So when I get into personal and notable, and yeah, personal, I'll have the, the, the figures, but I'm going to be talking about general and then notable for, for my listing. And then we good to go. Um, so 2014, as you all know, was a great year for figures and us collectors. We had so much stuff to choose from. Uh, I myself branched into a lot, a lot of lines, newer lines for the for the new year. Um, like for instance, the hot toys you guys saw recently and Sideshow Collectibles. I got into to those quick quick in a flash, you know, the first two I bought was uh, the Crow, the Eric Draven Crow, and uh, Storm Shadow, no, no, Batman, and I bought, then I bought Storm Shadow Wolverine, the, so those guys, uh, the Crow came out last year, I believe, so he don't count for 2014, he definitely would have made the list, and Batman would have made it too, but I'm not a fan of how his head scope came out, which is why I was willing to to invest, so to speak, into into uh, a new head school. but the price the price tag was a little too steep for me, so I, I, I held off on it. So he don't make that list. He don't make the list my list either. But in general, man, I think um we had a big year. Um, this is in no particular order. Both both things you can take it as you leave it, but this is how I this is it. this is how I feel about it. Uh, first up, we have the black the Star Wars Black series. Big big year, uh, last year. Last year was uh, it was okay. Not a lot of people went crazy for it like they did this year. Um, last year was the Boba Fett. This year again, Boba Fett hit the headlines with the white prototype Wolverine exclusive release. But then when the Anakin Skywalker, the Vader, the Jedi Luke, now with Yoda, the Stormtroopers, all that. Everybody was going crazy with that, so I, I, they don't make my personal list because I don't really collect them like that. I'm only getting the people who who I feel like I, I needed to get. For instance, like as you know, if you follow me, I got Boba Fett, Darth Maul, and I got X-Wing Luke, but I really want that Jedi Luke. I want Yoda, I want Vader, um, and, I, and I had the prototype on, but somebody kept Egging me to, to trade it to them, so I traded it to them. Sorry, Charlie McCrown. I know you gave me that. I was happy with I was dumb happy with it, but you know, I was on my Soul of Street Fighter fix and he offered me something from that that I really needed, so I jumped on it. Um, yeah, another thing was that I'm trying to get my hands on Phil. I pre ordered it through Big Bad Toy Store, but I pre ordered the deluxe version, and my man Phil's was beginning me in too. Is the Mayfax Amazing Spider Man 2. That figure has a lot of potential. Uh, I know I've seen Shard and Mrs. Review on it. He said that it, it looks metallic. But the fact of the matter is, and this is what I think matters the most, the costume is very significant and close looking to what we see in the comics. So I think that alone makes this figure that much um, more desirable. That's why I skipped the first main effect Spider-Man. I didn't like the gold eyes and all that. The suit was okay, but the gold eyes and all that, no. Nah. That didn't rock with me. Um, next is um, a great year this year for Batman. Um, but I think the biggest release in general that I haven't been able to partake in is the NECA 89 Michael Keaton Batman figure. I mean, it came out in the NES scale, the NECA uh, NES 8-bit, which also is in this list. So I'm going to go and put that together. Uh, the 8-bit eight, the eight Nintendo Waves game figures were crazy very popular everybody was feeding for it the batman people even bought the batman went out a limb uh, went out on a limb and repainted it 89 classic colors but then they released it with the, the with the release of the blu-ray so everybody went ape shit for that very good figure i hope to get it real soon i'm holding off right now because i don't really collect much NECA. i know i should because i got the ninja gate and i got a couple other figures maybe like the Street Fighter stuff. Like I said, I have to be limited in what I have. I do have a small apartment. Uh, next up is, and, th and these figures always elude me. I buy these guys and I always get rid of them. I can't hold on to them for the life of me. 
And he happened to, two of them happened to make my list for this year, and which is the Dragon Ball Z, SH for you Dragon Ball Z figure. But now, I'm specifically talking about Broly. That figure is uh, a breakthrough, innovative, something we never really got from a company like SH Figure Arts. So I'm very excited to see what the future holds for us in that matter. Because this big figure right here is just opening the doors of what to expect for the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? So hands off, my, my hands to you, bro. Good clap on SH Figure Arts, man. They've been doing their thing. And they're going to keep doing their thing. Even though people were a little disappointed with the Injustice Batman and all that, but they still doing their thing. And um, and what I like to see too is that a lot of these figures, those imports are starting to go and scale with Marvel Legends. I appreciate that. Because now you give us something to look forward to that goes in with our universe. So like if, I, if, I, if there's an Iron Man you guys make, I don't have to worry about the Iron Man being off a couple of inches now. Because now you guys are making them to fit in with these Marvel Legends figures, which is awesome. So Bandai, the arts, uh, also Figma. Thank you so much. Hat off my hat off to you. I can't wait to 2015. What 2015 brings to us. Uh, speaking of figure arts, big thing this year too, man. I, and I really want to get these. I'm gonna get them. I just got a whole door. I had to get what was important to me first. I'm not much of an ACBA. -er. Um, I try to dabble in it, but I get a lot of. I wouldn't say negativity, but people don't know how to critique to me. That's not... If you're an artist, you know how to critique. These people don't critique. They give off... Most of them give off a vibe of, I'm better than you. That's why your pictures suck. So I don't really, you know, I don't really participate. I still go on. I like pictures because some people on there, they do their thing. But the SH Figure Arts effects, the fire effects and the concrete effects, the... the, the, the the, I forgot the name of it. The blast effects. Yo, those joints is hot. They came in two. They gave us two color options on both ends, and, and they're very popular with people. And and in ACBA, they give that much flair to the to the um the art form. So those are good. Um, another thing, another uh, Marvel legend general top fourteen of this year was the build a figure. Groot, uh, Mandroid, and Jubilee, which make my notables list. So I'm not going to get into it with Ju Jubilee and Mandroid. But Groot right now, um, I wouldn't say Jubilee did, hasn't held her value, but Groot right now is still going for 50 to $60. So is Jubilee. Mandroid went down a lot. Um, and, that's, and I'm going to get into that when I get into my top list. So... Groot, I haven't been able to partake in because I wasn't much of a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy line. The movie was sick, don't get me wrong. I did like Drax and Nova, and I do have those two. But actually, I don't have Drax anymore. I traded them off because I found out that, that we're going to be getting a uh, comic-based Guardians of the Galaxy 5-pack in the near future. So I, th I threw that off and was like, yeah, I'll hold off. I can trade that, so whatever. Um, the Rebel Tech... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man, them things, them things were slated for a forty dollar release, and they just skyrocketed to sixty. That shit's crazy, it's unheard of. Even in Japan, Japan was it was supposed to be forty dollars. When my landlord went, he saw them; they were two hundred and fifty dollars for all four. So that breaks down to a sixty dollar price tag on each. So those figures are sick. I'm I'm so bummed that I missed out on it. But hopefully, if, if everything looks good for me in the future, I'll be picking those up, too. Uh, also, we got the Predators. A lot of Predators. Predator was popular. NECA Predators was popular this year. Along with um, a lot of NECA. NECA made a lot of noise this year with the Pacific Rim, the Predator figures. Uh, what else? The, the, like I said, the NES stuff. So, Predator, I feel NECA belongs in that general list. Because, again, I don't partake in NECA that much as I should. I will. I'll probably be paying a lot of third-party high high markups. Fine by me, because these figures are really worth it, especially when you take care of them. Because they do break easily. They do tend to break easily. So NECA, NECA in general, yo, you hold a spot in the general top 14 of 2014. Um, early in the year, early in the year, we saw 
everybody going crazy for for TMNT, TMNT Classics, Bebop, and Rocksteady. At one point in time, these guys were going for $60 each a pop. A lot of scalping out there. So he be, they belong in that too. They belong in that, that general listing. Uh, very nice figures. Very nice reincarnation of the classic Ninja Turtle cartoon figures. Uh, they were definitely my favorite villains out of, out of all the villains. Besides Shredder, of course. Um, I don't know. They were, they were just funny. You know, they gave off a, the comedic, they were comedic relief for the Ninja Turtle cartoon because they were stupid, you know? But my all-time favorite Ninja Turtle villain isn't actually Shredder. It's Slash. I love Slash. When he, when he first, when he came out on on the Channel 2, New York Channel 2, CBS cartoons in the, in the early, the late 80s, early 90s, the final seasons of the Ninja Turtle cartoon, I loved him, yo, and I had the Ninja Turtle figure and all that. Slash was my, he's my joint. I still love him. I don't like his reincarnation now in the new cartoon. I wish they brought him back the way he was. He was badass. He ain't playing no games like that. Um, another import line, the Figma Attack on Titan is another one. A lot of people was going crazy for these characters. Uh, some of the, I think one of these characters are worth $120, something like that. So, you know, I give him that. I'm watching New York's Rocket E right now. We're chilling. And uh, last but not least, just released today. Two, well, actually, it was released two days ago. Two days before the new year, man. That MP, Takara Tony Ultra Magnus. Tops off the list. It's not 14, man. I tried, man, but I got I got what I could. And uh, that Ultra Magnus is sick. Charlie's Prime received it today. He was happy. He's happy with it. I know he is. Uh, I might get that. I don't know. I'm not sure because... I'm actually contemplating on getting rid of one of my top 14 or 2014s in Transformers, which is um, my MP Prime. I'm thinking about it. I'm not, I'm not set on it yet, but we'll get into it. Uh, but I first want to say, I know I've been sounding sick in a lot of my recent reviews because a couple weeks back when I recorded these, I had a really bad head cold. And uh, since the passing of my dog, you know, I haven't had time to edit these videos and stuff like that. So I've been doing that, trying to stay busy to keep my mind busy or thinking about Smokey. But I do miss my dog. He was my first dog. Even though I got tank, he was my first. You know, he was like, you know, pop my cherry. He made me a, he made me a pet lover. And, and that's why today I love, I genuinely tend to love dogs and pets more than I like people. Unless I know you personally and you, you did it. You know what I mean? But, um... Yeah, so back to that. Um, so today, I want to talk about now my notables. These guys may, could have made the list, but just missed it. So we're going to get into that right now. Um, I'm going to start off with Marvel Legends figures. We had a lot of releases this year, starting from the Spider-Man wave. Then we had the, the Captain America wave, the, the Mandroid. And then... Again, the, the, the what was the builder? Oh, the Green Goblin builder figure. Then we had uh, the X Men Legends with the builder figure Jubilee, and we had a lot, man. We had a lot. Oh, sorry. And for general releases, it's Doomsday. DCUC Doomsday. We didn't think we was gonna get him. We got him, but Mattel done f fucked up, messed up everything by selling something that they didn't have that was still in transport from overseas and now because of some stupid strike I don't know about, I don't care. You guys had no business selling something that y'all didn't have in the, in the warehouses. I don't care. I don't want to hear that email shit. So right now I'm actually contemplating on canceling that. Or oh, I just might keep the, the order on. I don't know. Let's see what happens. But yeah, that doomsday figure. That's, that's in general. So right now, for the Marvel Legend Notables, we got Black Cat, which was an amazing figure. Uh, she was the Moonstone body mode with the added fur on the neck line. Uh, she didn't make the list because her heels killed it. Her heels messed everything up, even though she's supposed to have heels. She's a bitch to, to stand up. Um, next up, we have the Superior Spider-Man and the Amazing 2 Spider-Man. These two figures are freaking awesome. I love them. The fun fact is still there for me. I still play with them whenever I do bring them out. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 held a lot of, um, had a lot of, um, 
uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of promise. It showed a lot of promise to be a prominent release replacement for a McFarlane Spider-Man, in my honest opinion. Um, but there were some flaws here and there that set that back. So uh, let's hope. But now what we're going to see this year and the the, ulti the ultimate, the King Green Go the King Hobgoblin build a figure. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be the, the 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 standard bar, so to speak, on Spider-Man figures. I think when that figure come out, that comic book, that comic book style Spider-Man, that McFarlane, that McFarlane might take a hit on, on value. Um, that's my prediction, personally. Next up, we have Winter Soldier. Way better than what we got in the two pack, even though the two pack is more desirable. Um, there was some paint flaws in it because he's supposed to be at least a darker brown or black as opposed to the brown that they used on him. But it's all good. Still a great figure. I'm trying to get another one so I can make a good guy version. Uh, Stealth Captain America from the Major League. That figure is dope, hands down. So dope that they reusing it for uh, the Age of Ultron wave. For the Thanos. So, don't sleep on it. A lot, a lot of people saying it's not it, but it is. Trust and believe it is. So, yeah, that Captain America is sick. So, if you don't think it's a reuse, look at the pictures we've seen. It's just a repaint. Uh, next up, we have um, the Nova. Nova figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy wave. Love that figure. Love this so much that I got two and I customized the second one to look like uh, how he looks in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I had to do that. Uh, next up is Miss Marvel. She didn't make it because a lot of them had paint flaws. Uh, but she's a, she actually belongs on that list. She didn't make much of an impact because uh, Hasbro did a great job in making the three-pack readily available, massively, widely, readily available easily so if a big bird flip off to you scalpers i know some asshole he made like almost 300 dollars off that he got a couple a little early uh after that now we talking strife hands down one of the best but she made it uh but he's one of the best only because he has high capability of customizations so as you can see you know because of him i could build i made strife you know what I mean, the cable, you know, so forth, so forth. I mean, that's right, cyber, sorry. Uh, next up is uh, the Mandroid figure. Uh, he went down in value a bit. He's about 40, 30, 40 bucks now. Before, he was like 60, 80. I, I, I had it. I came into a hardship, and I had to sell him, and I made 80 bucks off it easy. So I was happy with that. Um, but, but, yeah, Mandroid, one of the best baths. One of the, not best, but good baths we ever had in recent times. And the last one is a bath also, which is Jubilee. She still holds her value, but uh, I really wish she was more uh, Jim Lee style as opposed to the way she is now. Because um, we, we didn't really see her much in the comics until the death of Wolverine. So that's probably why they made it that way, because she was in the death of Wolverine a couple of times. So... But those are my notables. Also for notables, we have uh, the Capullo Wave. One of the figures made it to my top ten list. So I'll get to that. But the wave is sick. Well, actually, two Capullo figures made it to my to my top ten, my top 14 in 2014. But the wave in general is still pumping hard. Still got a lot of life. This guy's artwork is serious. That's why they decided to give him his own figure line, I guess, because... Um, he ain't no joke, man. His shit is legit. The, the figures are nice, man. The wave is sick. So you'll know what I mean, what makes it in Notables when I get into my list. Uh, What else we got? Again, Doomsday. Also, the 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 Red Hood and the Outlaws Red Hood figure. Uh, I didn't get Arsenal and I didn't get the other Star Starfire. But them, them figures are nice. I got the Red Hood. I, I, I modded mine. I took the knives off. So stay tuned for a review of that. I should have kept the blade on it, but it, it was it was just the eyesore to me. So I filed it off. And I, I painted it. I painted the gauntlets, the original color, and I made two knives out of the blades that came off his gauntlets. So he's more he's more DC 352 
the way I stylize him now, as opposed to what he is now in the new 52 world. Um, SH Figure Arts Mario. When I found out they were coming out, that I had to get it. And then the World of Nintendo came out. I still haven't had one in hand. I, I want a Bowser so bad. I can't find it for the life of me. I'm always getting Donkey Kongs everywhere I go. And lastly, the reason why these guys only made the notable list is because I wasn't able to get all of them. I'm really working hard on getting them because I really like these, man. And again, big shout out to you, Zach. Oh, them Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mini mates, man. New drinks is sick. Best to me, besides the Rebel Techs, best Ninja Turtles on the market today. Playmates, are you guys really know how I feel about Playmates? They got they lazy, man. They little kid, they a little kid toy company. We Ninja and Ninja Turtles is a my generation thing. They trying to revamp it. Yeah, I understand that, but make something for us. That classics line don't work. Other than the Shredder, that Crane coming out this year too, and Bebop and Rocksteady, the Turtles were horrible. And the movie the Turtles was okay, but maybe not a movie one. They were okay. But the mini mates, I love them. I just love them. And I only got two of them. I only got Michelangelo and the Crane Robot. And I love them. Uh, so now we're going to get into my top 14 of 2014. I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. Again, it don't mean any particular order. And I'm going to sneak in the top 15. So forgive me for that. Because I completely forgot about this. So again, this is not in any particular order, my friends. Bear with me. Enjoy. First up, top 14, top 15 for 2015. Ooh, what a rush! Boom, Elite 31, or Elite 30, whatever, one of the two. Legion of Doom. Reason why is because these guys were one of my favorites growing up. And I missed out on the AWA release of them, the Legends release. But I don't remember them like that. That was the WCW day. I was always a WWE guy since I was a kid. You know, I used to wake up every Saturday morning to watch Saturday, Saturday morning uh, superstars. Yo, everything. Because after that, I used to get the Kung Fu movies on Channel 5. Hype! Yeah, so Legion of Doom, Animal, and Hulk. Hawk, rest in peace, Hawk. Figures are sick, man. I love this new body mode, this Bruno San Martino mode. So I'm, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped about these figures, man. So they mean they had to be on my top. Next up, like I said, like I told you guys earlier. This year I dabbled in, I tried to be like Sean Long, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to me some hot toys. So next up, this guy's like number one, really, yo, on the list. I love him. I play with him every day. He's right next to me. He sleeps with me. He protects me. Sideshow Collectibles. Assassin Storm Shadow. This figure is fucking sick. I'm sorry, y'all, the curse. But yo, this figure is so damn dope. I love this figure. Play with him all the time. Very nice looking figure. The scope work is ridiculous. I still haven't did a uh, review on him. I'm kind of contemplating on whether I should or not. Because they can't. They tend to be delicate, and I'm clumsy, and I don't want to break it, you know? Get at it. Next up is same family. Hot Toys, the Wolverine. Love this figure also. He sleeps next to me too. It's in order. It's him and his Thor Shadow and then Batman and, and the Crow. Love this figure. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go, bub. Love this figure to death. Uh, next up was MP Grimlock. But then I realized that he was just a re-release. So he don't really count. So what I did to put him in his place... To take his place, I'll give it to MP Proud. This figure is surprisingly very fun. Much fun factor, which is why I'm, I'm kind of sad that I'm thinking about trading and selling him. But I love this figure, man. This MP Proud is sick. Very nice looking figure. Transforming easily. 
no paint rubbing, nothing. Very joyous, man. And I love the fact that he fits in Optimus Prime's trailer and Ultra Magnus's carry trailer. Ah, how about them apples? Next up after that is the incarnation. The fin I mean, not the incarnation. The 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 finish. Next up, next up is the f the finishing of the Mighty Morphin SH figure arts Power Rangers line. So this year we got to see the Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger, and the Black Ranger, and then the, the SDCC uh, limited edition Black Armored Black Ranger. So this this line in general was fun to collect. Uh, I almost killed my girlfriend because she broke my White Ranger by accident. But thankfully, some some dude had him, and he was missing everything, and and I got him for ten bucks. So I jumped on that, and I and I blessed Alfonso with the broken one. Hopefully, he gets somebody to make a cast of the other shoulder pad. Everything will be all right. So yeah, that that SH figure line was sick, man. The Power Rangers brought back a lot of memories. Very nostalgic with that. To this day, I still think it's the best. Power Ranger lineup of all time, hands down. His Power Rangers is corny to me now. I guess because I'm an adult, but whatever. Um, now we have DC Collectibles Capula Wave Talon. I'm really I can't wait for the Talon that's gonna come out. DC Collectibles is um is an animated cartoon Talon. That shit looks sick. I'm thinking about gonna I'm gonna get that. Oh, the sword sheets came off. It's okay. I'll just glue it back. So that's something we tend to. There's a common problem with these figures. These figures are ten, tend to be brittle and very delicate. I guess it's because of the plastic they made out of and the glues that's used is weak. But this figure is sick. I love this figure. A lot of people was army building him, but I don't think there was a point to it because he's only really one person. But then I'm hearing that, I didn't read the, when the Thrasher suit came out, so I'm hearing that he beat up a lot of talent. He beat up a lot of talents with that suit, so I'm kind of lost, you know? But it's all good. Uh, next figure, I don't, I did own at one point, and like I said to you guys, I never seen them keep, keep them. I'm always getting rid of them, selling them, trading them, because they, 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 there's something about them. They're so desirable. Everybody wants them. And those two figures are SH Figure Arts. Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku and the regular Goku. I have both of them. Both of them no longer live with me. My best friend, one of my best friends, his name is um, No Pole. I call him Boogie because, you know, that was his high school nickname. Grab the forehead with And um, he, he was like, yo, hey, I got to have Dragon Ball Z, but I can't find none of these guys. And I, I happen to have him. I said, yo, you, you can buy them on me. I'll give them to you for what I paid. So I, I helped him out. I gave him my. I have a Vegeta, the original release Vegeta, and I had Go, regular Goku and Super Saiyan Goku. So he he was able to buy Krillin on his own. I hooked him up with getting a Piccolo. He was he's good. He's a big fan, DBZ fan. I'm not that big. I I used to watch it, but I wasn't into it like I was with like like the way I am with X Men. Um. So sorry about that, guys. I know I know I'm such a faker, I'm such a faker for for getting rid of. Uh, next up is Arkham Origins Deathstroke. I think this was the best one in line. Way better than the Mattel one. That's my opinion again. But yeah, this figure is nice, man. Really good looking figure. Love it. Love it to death, bro. This is my second one. The first one I had gave me a lot of problem. He had a hip problem. The leg used to pop out all the time. But not anymore. So we got that. That's him. Um, man, this is what I meant by the Capullo line. This Capullo line is sick. This Nightwing, I love this Nightwing and the Batman. Batman, they both know them. They all know the rules. I had to knock them out. They were actually in my top list, but I had to knock them out with a late release that we, we just got. And I'm going to show you that when we get to it. Um, next up, this year I got, I got introduced to, uh, 3A. I gave, I gave one to Shardimus as a gift. 
That was like the last thing I ever gave him, I think. Kind of behind. We're busy. I ain't got shit to give. <laughs> but yeah, man. Next figure is 3A Fighting JC. This figure right here, man, was a, one of the most desired figures of this early this year. Everybody was trying to get this guy. Um, I was lucky enough to score him for 50 bucks, which was below below cost. The only reason why I got him is because he was he was missing his box for that price. So I got him and Tommy and Shadow Mission Tommy. So love both of them. Uh, would really like to keep up with that line, but that line is very expensive. And then uh, next up. Looking for it. Oh. Next up is. Oh, oh that's my soup. No, this is your soup. Say a word. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm... Oh, here you go. Next up is DC Signature Series. If you saw it, it was my innovative first ever review on the go. DC UC, Damian Wayne, Robin, man. This figure, I love this figure. I'm about to display this bad boy with my new 52 DC UC Batman. Love it, finally. Glad they gave us this Bravo. Um, now after that, this is what took out the Capullo, uh, Nightwing, and Batman. The ultimate war. So happy when they released this Hall of Fame line. I never, I didn't know nothing about this. This was just out of left field. Um, they just popped up on eBay one day, and I was like, "What?" But they were fake. But I'm happy to get there. I'm trying to get that Stone Cold Steve Austin. Happy with that. And then we got uh, another figure that I don't have anymore. I had it mint, but I wound up trading it. I should have kept it. But I'm not big on Iron Man. Uh, Figma Iron Man. Wow. Figma Iron Man. Love that. That figure looks sick. And, and he, he holds... He holds a lot of value, man. The regular release I had, and that was worth a hundred. The other one was going for two. It's crazy. And uh, next up is the Jazz Wins NBA Heroes. I wasn't gonna put them in my list, but um, I, I'm gonna because this is a different take on something. That's that's potential for other future lines. I'm really hoping for an MLB line, NBA heroes. I really wish I could get me a mellow. I'm gonna get me a mellow. I haven't I haven't been focused on that, but I'm gonna get me that. And then next we have Marvel Legends, Agent Venom, Black Widow, and Amazing Spider-Man 2 Carnage. Yo. This Agent Venom figure, we weren't supposed to get it. We know that. This is my Thunderbolt variant. This is the one I painted. This figure right here, man. We wasn't supposed to get this, and they gave it to us. And boy, did I, was I a happy camper. Word up. So happy we got this figure, man. He was, uh, he caused a lot of trouble, too, in the figure community. Everybody was scalping crap out of him. You remember my rant and rave, man? People were getting them charging sixty dollars. Somebody at a at a small con in California got caught for scalping them for eighty bucks a piece, and people were paying that. Bunch of idiots. Be patient, it'll come. Just like I wanted Bazzaro, when Bazzaro dropped, I couldn't find them when everybody wanted thirty-seven dollars. I wasn't paying that, and then look what happened: Black Friday, or along with along with my Doomsday. Maddie collected that for seven bucks. Paid that. Damn right. Carnage, baby. Bucky Cat mold. Beautiful head sculpt. Re really, really looking forward to the Marvel Select one coming out. And this month, actually, I think. This coming month, January, February. Should we be getting that? Man, 
happy about that. Ooh, I forgot about that. My man Phil got me. And lastly, Black Widow. She started the pot too in the, among, in the community. She was going for like $67. Now she's a peg warmer. Uh, as you guys know, I'm out of mine. I put Hope Summers head on there, so looks a lot better. And lastly, man, this figure was a newcomer. I first saw it in the, I, I first saw it in um, in the previews, the, the catalog that you, that comic shops, a lot of comic shops order from. And then I saw Shardimus was reviewing. I was like, wait a minute, Sounds like I gotta get that figure. And boy, am I so sure happy I did. This is the last figure, man. Thrasher suit Batman. Figure is ginormous. It's just as big as the Marvel Select Hulk. I'm actually contemplating on purchasing me another one to do a Iron Man Hulk Buster custom. Yeah. You know how you guys use Mandroid? I'm going to use this. So, it should be easy work. All I have to do is file down the bat signals. And I should be able to do a lot once I get that out the way. So, that's my top 15. My personal top 15 for 2015. And another thing, guys, man. Well, let me know what you guys would like to see different in the channel. Uh, I know I asked you guys a couple a month ago. I'm thinking about... Um, Thinking about doing a, a new theme song, but what I really would like to get done for 2015 is actually a montage video opening in the beginning of the thing, so you guys don't have to see the the thumbnail for like a minute hearing the, the theme song. So let me know what you guys think. What would you like to see change on the Double Do channel? All right, people, it's your boy Double Do. We got an hour and 40 minutes to to the ball drops over here in New York. Uh, Happy New Year, and may this year be better than the last. I love all you, and I know you guys love me too, because you support, just like my lady support me. You know I drive her crazy. All right? It's your boy, Devil's Do. I'm out. One.